game guys finally reviewing champions league lineup prediction that we believe Klopp will line up for liverpool and we got pretty much the formation and lineup that we've seen majority of the year this yeah, was actually three, three. the exact line for against wolves and it was very effective against wolves a team that has been defeating top six sides throughout the season oh, yeah. but Man, they really nullified them with this line and i don't expect any less from any of these players to perform in the final um I obviously suspect Liverpool would beat Tottenham. Uh, the two encounters throughout the league, they really nullified their diamond. And they might come at them with a diamond again, I'm not sure. It depends on how Pochettino wants to adjust yep. and rearrange. Yep. But uh, with lacking Kane on the forefront, they're going to have Lucas and Son for sure. Two up Which front. is pretty deadly, man. It is pretty deadly. Uh, maybe they might line up 4-4-2 against this 4-3-3. And on, on the pitch, they might just move differently and not yep. actually... I think... Um... Obviously, Milner's not in the lineup. Big, big. Uh, we had to make a big decision. Yeah, he Milner was, or Henderson. We yeah. went because he's captain. Yeah, and he but has um, been there. it's pretty close to the the team that was against Barcelona and made the crazy comeback for zero. Except for Origi was in here. Yeah, and but, Milner um, was. Yeah, and Milner was in for yeah. one of them. But Wijnaldum's been playing very well, so yeah. he gets into the final. He does. He Fabinho does. very pivotal. Has to CDM, see them for sure. He was on a yellow card, got a yellow card pretty much 10 minutes into that Barca game. Mark Still Messi. man marked Messi. Yep. Did great. We already know Alexander Arnold. Amazing amazing. Crosses, amazing. amazing runs. Matip Assist. has very stepped up his game this year. Because of obviously, because of Van Dyke's like, leadership and communication. Robertson, we already know what he does. Just a workhorse. He doesn't stop um, moving, he doesn't stop exploring space. I think everybody works. Everything so hard. is like. Mm. Fabinho great when all the Mane, if Firmino's a baby he'll be fit. Play. He'll be fit. He's, He's been fit. in training He's the last play, several that's days. Great. Salah great. Yeah. This is a question mark. Henderson. He's there as the leader, obviously. He does give energy and he stuff like and that. And he does motivate the players. And he is also trying to be a player that's with a point of proof. Because I know when we think of okay, let's be real. When people talk about Liverpool. Henderson and Milner are not the top names people mention, no. but they both put in a shift. But you need you need a balance from very talented players yeah. to players who just they, they pretty much what their yeah. their job is to run and they they, they, they got iron lungs. Yeah, they run, run there yeah. and they just him and Milner they run so much. So many players. Yeah. Um, obviously Klopp has been allowing him to go a little bit more forward in the last I would say month or so. He's actually started to instead of being in the CDM position. Here, yeah. On the right mid position to actually get into the attack, and he's actually scored some couple of goals yeah. in the last couple of games of Premier League. Yeah. But so, <laughs> but I think after like over sixty games or something, <laughs> Liverpool is the favorites going into this final. Mm -hmm. But what yeah. we've seen in the past in the Champions League final is that the favorite doesn't always win. Yeah. Like look, AC Milan in two thousand five when they faced Liverpool, AC Milan was the favorite going into it. They were supposed to win the thing. Liverpool ends up winning. Chelsea versus Bayern. Chelsea was not the favorite. Bayern was the favorite. Chelsea wins. Same thing with like so many other scenarios that you see, right? So even though Liverpool's coming in as pretty much a lot of people are predicting them to, to win to beat Tottenham, mm. it's still if you look at the games that these two have faced in the Premier League, been very close. The out of the world own goal thing at the end, mm. you know that's that's the reason why you guys beat them in the one game, and the other game was very close too. Like, they're very close teams when they play each other. The games are very close mm -hmm. and exciting. And a lot of people were saying, too, that I've been hearing is that if it's 0-0 zero, zero at halftime, people believe Tottenham will take it. Why is that? They believe that Liverpool, with their, with their, intensity press. With their problems in the finals of losing oh. finals, <laughs> losing Listen, finals that, that I think if it's 0-0 zero, zero at halftime, they feel like Tottenham... 
would have weathered the storm of Liverpool attacks and stuff like that, and that they will, they will Liverpool will flop and like choke the finals again. Mm. But if Liverpool gets an early goal, I think that Liverpool can just like not annihilate Tottenham, but I think if they can get an early goal, they will be on the forefront for pretty much most of the game because they have so many attacking options. Like this front three, we seen it this year and last year in the Champions League was so like. Deadly. One of the most devastating you know, attacks, yeah. Adding a the <laughs> midfield. Best year. And this midfield wasn't like this last Champions League final against Real Madrid. You didn't no, have Fabinho. Milner Fabinho. was in there. You had Milner, Henderson, and uh, I think it was Ronaldo, wasn't yeah, it? Wayne yeah, Wayne there. Now you have Fabinho, who's a big, big player. Obviously, we don't have Naby Keita. Mm -hmm. um, but, and this guy wasn't there either, mm -hmm. Van Dijk. These guys more experienced. And a big key, Allison. We're, we're, we're forgetting. He, he needs forgetting, to take less risks. We're forgetting coming out of the net because he, he likes to come out and take risks. Yeah, but we're forgetting who was in here last year. Carries yeah. gave gave the trophy to Real Madrid. So this guy is a big, big, big key to the game. I think Liverpool. I think it will be a close game, but I still think Tottenham. My prediction: I think Tottenham's going to take it. I know, but it, listen. I think it's an interesting one because the two managers that are known for not winning anything in EPL. Someone's any, gonna, no trophies someone, at all. But someone's gonna win between the two. Someone's gonna finally win. And with game. the consistency with Liverpool making finals, like I think something's gotta give here. There's a reason why we make it every time, and I think this time's the charm. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying that. Like like you said, we've upped our additions from goalkeeper. That no offense is. to Lovren, but Matip is the better option. What do you um, mean? Lovren said he's the best defender in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Fabinho, obviously, it's a stat. And he, he really helps clean up in the midfield from everybody coming forward to protect these guys. And he's been so what, like clinical to yeah. when he has the ball, he does score, but he a also makes sure he A lot of hard work he does, yeah. For them to exploit the wings. He works a lot. He works hard and like not only defensively, but attacking for to give these guys a lot of space. Mm -hmm. To go in behind and give them a lot of opportunities. Without Firmino, you don't have these two playing at the levels that they could. Um, obviously, Origi has come on and played very well, mm -hmm. but this guy is key to your attack. Absolutely, and if I were to, before we sum up the Liverpool line, if I were to predict, because we obviously struggled to predict the midfield and thinking Milner would have yeah. a place, we went for a more youthful, exuberant, like, energetic line. A lot of more energetic, but yeah. also... But Milner does have the energy. It just Milner has a lot of energy, but I would say... He's a utility player that can come off the bench to either fit There's as a, a lot of more back. going forward. Sure. Even Fabinho... He's a very strong and like powerful player that can beat a player and go. Mm. Henderson, he's like he's kind of the workhorse, the captain that's gonna be, you know, getting the team going. One of them we've seen he can run up the pitch too, racing and, and getting going yeah. forward, getting some opportunities. But, like it, so that gives it a lot more dynamic and it gives a lot more balance in the team. Not just to have a midfield of runners, but a midfield of talent that can go forward, mm -hmm. support with the attackers, but also have players that will do the defensive work that they're going to need because mm -hmm. Tottenham, yes, Liverpool, I would say overall has a better attack and better overall team. We've seen the Premier League, they finished Liverpool from the second, mm -hmm. but Tottenham still has some dangerous players that have been proven to, to actually come up in big stages so far this year, especially yeah. in the Champions League. Yeah. But yeah, this, this is the lineup, obviously, I think pretty much most people would think of this lineup for Liverpool. And if I had, like, let's say... Obviously, it depends if we're at a deficit at the half or if we're winning. I think Milner comes on regardless. Um, whether if we're winning and we want to hold up the lead, he'll come in as a fullback. Obviously, if you're winning, he will come on as as a fullback. He I think. will probably take someone like one album off, and like let's say late you're winning, one album will come off. If you guys are losing, I think Henderson will come off, and Shakiri will come off for Henderson. To add extra time. Maybe they might go four two three one, and they might do double DMs and have Mane for me. If they were losing, if, they're if losing. they were losing, yeah. And, and then and Milner. Welcome back, guys. Just the Tottenham lineup. We went with the previous. Obviously, if Winks wasn't injured with a groin injury, yeah, probably wouldn't get in here. Yeah, because Wanyama hasn't played too much yeah. this year. And like I said before, the diamond proved to be ineffective against Liverpool and their high press. So I think they're going with a more attack mindset. Yeah, they played some weird formations against Liverpool in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. One time they played Sissoko, they played a 4-1-4-2 four, four, or something like that. Well, yeah. if it's 4-1-4, four, four, it's got to be one at the top. Yeah, There's nothing yeah, four, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it but, was such a weird formation. And then the other time they played, they played like uh, the Diamond, like you said. Which worked well against City. 
Yeah. And I think both games, Chelsea. Chelsea yeah, had scrums. But both games they lost to yeah. Liverpool 2 1, mm -hmm. with one of the games all the world own goal in the 90th mm -hmm. minute. Um, this formation, I think, is the best for them. They played very well against Ajax. That very, comeback, yeah, was, the comeback was great. Like, let's begin here. Obviously, we went for the experience. Sanchez could have had a chance, but it's his last game. He's got something to stand for. And he was for. playing against Iowa. Ajax. He's been the best center back. Yeah. Obviously, Trippier, world class here. Good. good. Rose is amazing. Yeah, man. he's going to be over Davies. Once again, these guys, this is the top, top of the crop. Like, yeah. the crosses, the weight, the flanks that they're going to be yeah. gunning. Um, these two give a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot mm -hmm. of energy. Creativity. <laughs> these two create. Oh, energy. this guy with his. Oh man, the assists. I can already see them now. It's, it's gonna be trouble. The assists, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be trouble. It's gonna be trouble. Son, you know, he's the best season. Player. His best season. Like in the absence of Kane, he's, he's, he's my amazing. favorite. Yeah, and he's even though player, yeah. even though Kane is reported to be healthy for the game, he's gonna start on the bench. He's, he's he's gonna gonna be, he'll be the first sub off the bench, regardless of depending on depending on how the game's going. I think even if Tottenham's winning, they're going to maintain the attack. Because if Liverpool's coming sure, at you yeah. with a high press, you got a high press back. Yeah, sure. And who would better than and Kane? The thing is, Mura, before that last game, I was yeah. kind of like, no. as in, he's, done, he's done okay. He did, he did well another But game. the last game, when he scored a hat trick, he has to be in this. He has yeah, to of be. Of course good. he does. You can't take Mura out, but Kane, you can. You have to I, leave him in. Even if Mura didn't, like, let's say, let's say he didn't score all those goals. Let's say it was divided amongst the team. I would have still put Mura on the forefront because. Was Kane available? No. If Kane, because Kane wasn't available. But I'm saying right? if Kane was available. If Kane was available, obviously Kane. But in that circumstance where no, Kane I'm wasn't. About right now, I'm saying right now, I'm saying if Moore hadn't scored that hat trick in the last game, it wasn't yeah. Moore, the other people scored. Yeah. And Kane is fit to play in the finals. Did you take Moore out for Kane? I know, I know, I understand what you're trying to say, but yeah. I would still put Moore because Kane has not slotted back into this lineup in Champions League. <laughs> yeah. So just. Finally hit the ground running at this at this final stage. Yeah, even I, though he's I, one of the best strikers in the world. I think you can give him maybe twenty minutes at most. Well, yeah, like if he had a chance to play in the last game leading up to this, and we could see how he's doing at this pace of the level. Yeah. Then yeah, maybe, but we haven't seen As him in a while. Final, you can't take that kind of risk. I know he's yeah. a world class striker. It's a Kane, Champions League final. Yes, Champions can... League final. You need the most. You need their fit guys. Even if Kane has that yeah. big name. That's what I'm worried about. Pedigree right? of scoring. You can't just mm. put him on. But he's for sure going to be a sub. I think he'll come on eventually. Mm. Whether well, it be for how much time, I don't know. But, yeah, I think the players who are going to cause you problems, Erickson. This guy's my son. Number this, one guy, here, yeah. this guy here. He's number one. He's gonna I'm a Liverpool you. fan, so my number one eye is on him. Yeah. As soon as Kane comes in as well, like I'm assuming what they might do, depending on how they're performing on the attacking mid spectrum, is they might actually keep Mora on, on and slide him in here. I'm actually suspecting he'll play the full 90 and one of these guys will either come off or if he wants to, like, it, it can go various ways, right? Because you have Lamelo too that can slot into one of these. I don't think, think Lamelo will come in. But I don't think Lamelo will come yeah. in. You have, you have Lorenti, but... but he, might, he might, because if they don't manage to score, they might they put Lorenti on late, top. late in the game, they might put Lorenti, Kane, everyone yeah. just to bomb and right. try to get a goal. It, but it's to so my prediction, to my prediction, I think Tottenham's going to beat Liverpool. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the score is going to be 3-2 Tottenham. Tottenham. So who are the three goal scorers for Tottenham? Son, two goals. Mm -hmm. And I think Ericsson won. Ericsson won. Okay. And who assists those? Assists, I don't know. I don't know. But Liverpool, the mm -hmm. people are going to score for Liverpool. I think... I think Mane has a goal. Mane has, Mane a, goal. has a goal for sure. And I think... I think Wijnaldum has a goal. Wijnaldum, wow, yeah. not even saw. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, I actually think it'll be a two-one victory for Liverpool. I give them one goal to Son. Uh, I see Kane coming in later and being nullified after being at it out for so long and not keeping up with. Yeah, the I pace. think he will come in at the end. And I don't think he'll score. I really do believe that. Um, I think Fabinho will do also a great job nullifying Ali. But once again, these flanks here. We, we will have the, the largest struggle actually marking these guys and making sure that they don't have so much Because these two are very creative. And, and they can he take shots outside in behind. the box. He likes getting in behind a lot. He likes coming short to collect. Mm. He likes going everywhere. But with these guys that, that fear the most, like, they can... It doesn't matter how well you defend, they can take shots. Too, right? Running in behind? Right, but like, imagine... 
you know, a VVD, obviously, he's such a colossal Yeah, but defender. Sonny Erickson can shoot from far. Too. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can defend it all out, and if they shoot on the box and they, they get something, like, there's nothing you can do about that. Yeah. And, and there could be screamers like that. Yeah. Or, so, Soko too, huh? He's, he's the most pivotal DM on the team yeah. right now, in my opinion. Dyer has lost a bit of my hope. Wings, obviously, out of the picture. Yeah. Like, he, this has to be... Oh man, this, this is the key area. Yeah, but, they have to step up. But Liverpool, I'm saying, they're gonna look at this and be like, okay, we're stronger in this area. Yeah, they they, they are, do have yeah. better DMs here, and I do think that Firmino will deliberately talk back right in between in the here, space, yeah, in the space, right, here, yeah. and he'll try to attract either Alderweireld or Vert Vertonghen so that, that so Salah that Salah or Mane. Mane can come through the off shoulder or channels. Yeah, because these guys are gonna be gunning it constantly. And, and they're going to try to be high-pressing as much as Liverpool to get those goals. And I know they're going to, just from the start, like Liverpool, they want that first goal. Hey, Rose, Rose is pretty good, too. Yeah. These, these two get crosses in. Mm -hmm. um, but the question mark, too, Lloris, like you were saying, Allison takes us some chances sometimes. Lloris, Lloris is too, some, He does take... But he less does, than Allison. Yeah, but he still has... Sometimes he makes a mistake. Well, we saw it last year. Yeah. Uh, for uh, the World Cup final, that goal that he <laughs> yeah, said. Yeah, I know. And that was an important final. This is no different. If there's a second most important final, it's Champions League, right? Yeah. So he yeah, has yeah. mistakes in him, but, but, yeah, but he's got to be focused. <laughs> and also, <laughs> both managers haven't won something, so yeah, this game yeah. is... Both that's one of the so matches is going away to win. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be either way. Oh man! And Tottenham, for Tottenham fans, could be the first trophy, real trophy in their cabinet, apart from Harry Kane's Golden Boot. But mm. if they win it, like phew, Arsenal fans, is huh? uh, DT's it's gonna be hard for you guys, huh? DT from Arsenal fan TV is gonna be flying to the moon. He said, "You can't, you can't win the Champions League before, before Arsenal, Arsenal does, man. that will just end up in a heartbreak." It'll be the second. London team to win it. Yeah. Obviously Chelsea. Good on Chelsea for that one. Yeah, first off. But uh, guys, let us know your predictions. Yeah. Any comments you want to make about the game and what you expect the outcome to be in the final score, leave it down below. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this analysis and be sure to check us out next time for Transfer Talk in June. It's been great having you guys over for all throughout the year, building up to Champions League and predictions of games, but now it's the end of the season, so yeah. enjoy your summer and we'll keep posted soon. Don't forget to take in. <laughs>